lesson 12.10, mixed measures. We're going to add, subtract, and regroup. If you've missed these important videos from chapter 12, they're linked in the description for you. Mixed measures are measurements written with more than one type of measurement unit. They may have feet and inches, or hours and minutes, pounds and ounces, and so on. So here's some examples of mixed measures. We have six feet, two inches, three hours, 10 minutes, four pounds, three ounces, one pint, two ounces. These are all mixed measures. We can solve problems involving mixed measures by first adding or subtracting the smaller units, then the larger units. We can regroup using the correct number of units. We need to know how many units will make a larger unit. Here we need to add three weeks, five days to two weeks, three days. It's important to know there's seven days in one week. And the sum is going to have to be regrouped. First we add the days, the smaller units, we get eight days. Then we add the weeks, that's five weeks. We can regroup this eight days into seven days as one week and then one more day. Then we have five weeks plus one week is six weeks and one day. The sum was regrouped to make an additional week. Here we have four weeks and we need to subtract one week six days. We can regroup one week as seven days and put it into the days place first. So four weeks will become three weeks and we'll take that one week that we took from the four weeks and we'll turn it into seven days. Then we'll have enough days to subtract the six. We have seven days minus six days, that's one day. We have three weeks minus one week, that's two weeks. We have two weeks and one day. We could also think of the four weeks as 28 days. There's seven days in a week. We have four of them, we have four sevens, that's 28. And we have one week, six days, we can think of it as 13 days. Then we could subtract. We have 28 days minus 13 days. That would give us 15 days. We can regroup this into weeks and days. So in this mes method, we regrouped the weeks into days and the week and six days into days. But now we need to regroup again for the sum. There's seven days in a week, so we have 14, that's two sevens, that would be two weeks with one day left over. But this way we would regroup twice. It would be much easier to do it the other way. It would be much easier to do it this way. Then we just regroup the four weeks into three and give that week to the days part. That's much quicker regrouping once, isn't it? And we know there's usually more than one way to solve a problem, but usually one way is easier. Tala is three feet, 11 inches tall. How many inches tall is she? Well, we can see on our chart that 12 inches is equal to one foot. One foot is equal to 12 inches. If she's three feet, then we would do three twelves. That's three times 12, which is 36 inches. Then we would add the other 11 inches. She's 47 inches tall. For this problem, we needed to change the three feet into inches and then just add the other 11 inches to get a total. Adding mixed measures is similar to adding tens and ones because we begin with the smaller units on the right. It's different because we may not regroup as tens. It will depend on how many smaller units are in a larger unit. If we're doing pounds and ounces, one pound is equal to 16 ounces, we would regroup at 16. One gallon is equal to four quarts, we would regroup at four. 
one cup is equal to eight ounces, we would regroup at eight. So that's how it's different. We may not be regrouping as tens. Sophia sewed a dress in two days. The first day she worked for four hours, 35 minutes. And the second day she worked for three hours, 15 minutes. How long did it take Sophia to sew the dress? We think we need to total the time. We add four hours, 35 minutes, plus three hours, 15 minutes. We first add the minutes. Five plus five is 10. We regroup the one and put the zero down. Then one plus three plus one is five. So for minutes, we have 50. Then we add the hours. It's seven hours and 50 minutes for Sophia to sew the dress. What if it took Sophia four hours, 50 minutes on the first day and three hours, 15 minutes on the second day? So think we need a total and we'll regroup the minutes to make another hour because one hour is 60 minutes. We total the minutes, we get 65 minutes. We total the hours, we get seven hours. So first we added the minutes, then the hours, but now we need to regroup to make another hour. 65 minutes, that would be 60 minutes plus five minutes. That 60 minutes could be another hour. We have seven hours plus that one hour is eight hours and the five minutes left over. So the sum needs to be regrouped in this problem. Sophia has six feet, four inches of fabric. She cuts off two feet, nine inches. How long is the fabric now? So keep in mind that one foot is equal to 12 inches. She has four inches and we need to take away nine inches for the smaller units. So we think we need to subtract with regrouping to find the difference. We have six feet, four inches minus two feet, nine inches. We can't have four and take nine away, but we could take one foot from the six feet, make it a five and change that one foot into 12 inches and add it to that four inches. Now we have 16 inches and we can take the nine away. 16 inches minus nine inches is seven inches. Now we do five feet minus two feet, which is three feet. We regroup the one foot into inches, then subtract the 16 minus nine. We know she has three feet, seven inches of fabric. If we don't have enough to be able to subtract, then we regroup from the larger unit. Bob made three gallons of lemonade for a party. After the party, there was three quarts left over. How much lemonade did they drink? So we need to have three gallons and subtract the three quarts to find the difference. And we cannot subtract unlike units. So our gallons are here and our quarts are here. We can take one gallon away from this three gallons and make it two gallons. And the one gallon we took away, we can write as four quarts. Now we can subtract four quarts minus three quarts is one quart. And here we just drop down the two gallons. We have two gallons, one quart is how much they drank at the party. So remember when you have different units, you're going to have to separate them because we can't subtract three quarts from three gallons because the quarts would go in this column and the gallons would go in this column. We would regroup. Sarah filled three pitchers with iced tea. Each pitcher holds one quart, three cups. How many cups of iced tea is there in all? So if you look at our chart, here's one quart. There's two pints and a quart. And if you look, there's four cups in one quart. One quart is equal to four cups. And we need our answer to be in cups. It says how many cups are in all. So. We have one quart and three cups, but it's in three pitchers. So we need to multiply one quart, three cups, times three pitchers. We do three times three, that's nine cups. 
Then we do three times one quart, that's three quarts. We have three quarts and nine cups, which we need to turn into all cups. One quart is four cups. That means we have three times four cups, we have 12 cups. We add this nine cups and it's equal to 21 cups of iced tea. So make sure you have a chart if you don't remember the units and how many ounces are in a cup or how many cups are in a pint and so on. Even if you're using metric measures, you want to make sure you know how many units are in a larger unit or a smaller unit. Bob mixed 16 ounces of orange juice with one pint of lemonade. Will his mixture be able to fit in a one quart pitcher? So look, there's eight ounces in one cup and there's two cups in a pint. Well, if they're each eight ounces, then we need two eighths, that's 16. Well, that means there's 16 ounces in a pint. Here we have one pint. That would be eight ounces and eight ounces that would be 16 ounces. That means he mixed a pint of orange juice with a pint of lemonade. One pint, 16 ounces is equal to two pints. 16 ounces is a pint, so we have a pint and a pint. And two pints are equal to one quart, so yes, it will fit into a one quart pitcher. We need to complete what these are equal to. We have four pounds, two ounces. It wants to know how many ounces that would be. We see 16 ounces is equal to one pound. That means we have four 16s. Four times 16 is equal to 64, plus the two more ounces. That would be 66 ounces. Here we have three weeks and four days. We need to know how many days that is. We know there's seven days in a week. We have three weeks. That would be three times seven. That would be 21 days plus the four days. That would be 25 days. Here we have two minutes, 30 seconds. We need to convert it into just seconds. We think, well, there's one minute equal to 60 seconds. We have two of them. We would multiply 2 times 60 for the minutes plus the 30 seconds. We would have 150 seconds. Here we have 4 tons, 150 pounds, and we need it only in pounds. Well, 2,000 pounds is 1 ton, and we have 4 of them. We must need to do 4 times 2,000. We multiply 4 times 2,000 and add the 150 pounds. That's going to be 8,150 pounds. Here we have one year, 10 weeks, and we need it only in weeks. Well, there's 52 weeks in one year. So we have 52 and 10 more would be? If you said 62, you got it right. So we converted the larger units into smaller units and added the remaining smaller units. See how we did that? Be very, very careful when you're regrouping the units that you regroup them into the correct amount of units. It may not be tens. It could be sixteens or fours or eights or two thousands or sixties for minutes or seconds. Our next lesson, 12.11, we're going to talk about patterns in measurement units. We're going to make number pairs in tables. I hope you're doing well. And don't forget, since there's no comments on my videos anymore because they're mostly made for under 13, you can always send me a message on Facebook at Joanne School. And there's a link in the description. See you next time. Bye.